Lastly, I want to tell you that landing on the drop zone is secondary to landing safely. So if by a thousand or 800 feet, you figure out that you're not gonna be able to land on the drop zone, it's time to choose a plan B or another landing zone. Avoid obstacles to the maximum, plan your landing pattern according to the winds that you should be aware of. There has been a lot of jumpers trying to push the limits and trying to land on the landing area and ended up having serious landing injuries. So it's really important to land safely 